Josh, thank you. Heading now to some severe weather news. Extreme rainfall causing chronic flooding in parts of the U.S. and making some neighborhoods uninhabitable. Now the state of Louisiana is using federal funds for a remarkable experience that could turn into the blueprint for dealing with what some are calling climate refugees. Diana Olick reports from New Roads. At a small church meeting house in a small Louisiana farm town, a small community is making a very big decision. The option to purchase has been signed. It is signed today. The community, up to 40 homes, is moving together to higher ground. The state of Louisiana is using federal funds to purchase land, build new homes, demolish the old flood damaged homes, and turn this neighborhood into wetlands. So you're going to knock down all of these houses and these as well? Right. Pat Forbes, who administers community development block grants for disaster relief, is in charge. It's quite clear that we're having more disasters. And consequently, we have to start doing things that are smarter. One of the easiest, smartest things you can do is get people out of harm's way. Pecan Acres was built in the 1970s near a canal, but in the last decade it has seen more frequent and intense flooding. Its levee is no longer adequate. Back-to-back -back floods in 2016 and 2017 drew the governor's attention, and a plan was hatched to buy out the homeowners and move them here, barely two miles away, but ten feet higher. Cornell Jackson was eager to hear the details. She raised her children and now her granddaughter in the home that recently flooded beyond her financial ability to repair. So the water came up to about here and then you had yeah. to take that drywall yeah. off. Yeah. 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 You're losing everything. You don't have time to pick up anything. And it just, you know, you got to go back and just start all over again. I mean, it's just, it's just miserable. The program will buy out each homeowner, but since these damaged homes have so little value now, homeowners will also get forgivable loans, up to $200,000 to buy into the new community. For each year they live in their new home, they get one-fifth of the loan forgiven. In five years, the home is theirs, debt-free. The cost, roughly $8 million. In the past, the federal government has given flooded homeowners money to simply relocate. But this is one of the first plans to move an entire community en masse here to higher ground. And it could be a model for the future. When we get done with this, we and everyone else will know more about how to do this and more about the mistakes to avoid than we know right now. We all in it together, and, and you know, I'm just not happy for myself, but I'm happy for everybody else, because we done been through a lot. And you're you know, ready to go. I'm ready to go. Now, we're told that by turning the neighborhood into wetlands, experts say it will actually protect nearby neighborhoods from flooding by acting as a sponge for all of the water.